two H notes comparing real world integers. This is the last step before going on to level two formative assessment. You're almost through this level. Let's take a look. So I want to encourage you to try these on your own. If you think you're getting this, pause this video, try them and check them with the answers. Okay. Whether you check them with the answers on this video or with the answer key, doesn't matter, but try and challenge yourself to do that. If you don't feel up to that challenge, that's fine. Let's do these together. Susan said that negative two is greater than negative seven. Therefore, negative two is located to the right of negative seven on the horizontal number line. Remember that's the right and left. Is Susan correct? Explain why or why not? Hmm. So let's think, would negative two be located to the right of negative seven? Use the number line on the wall to help you if you want. Okay. Or think about our manipulatives. How would you start numbering it? So is she correct? Yep, Susan is correct. Yes, negative two is to the right of negative seven, so it is bigger when we're talking about the number line there. Okay, let's look at the next one. Bobby said that negative five is less than negative 10. Therefore, negative five is located below negative 10 on a vertical number line. Is Bobby correct? Explain why or why not. So think about a uh, thermometer, right? It's like a vertical number line. Or think about our elevation when we talked about that. When we're numbering and we go down, would numbers get bigger or smaller? So if they're saying that negative five is located below negative 10, is that true? Would that work? Nope. Negative five is not below negative 10. So no, Bobby was wrong. Negative five would be located above negative 10 on a vertical number line. So it is actually bigger. So that was incorrect. If you need to go back and take another look at something, feel free. Moving on to number three. Sarah's savings account balance changed by $34 one week and by negative $67 the next week. Which amount represents the greatest change? Notice it's not greatest amount she earned, it's greatest change. So when we're saying that, we are actually talking about their absolute value when you say which amount represents the greatest change right? It's like which one has the furthest distance. So when we look at it, yes, she earned $34, but the negative $67 is the bigger change to her account. So negative 67 is the greatest change. Even though it's a smaller number, it's the biggest difference when you're comparing to zero to compare their absolute values. So let's look at number four. On a winter day in Bloomington, it was three degrees below zero. On the same winter day in normal, it was five degrees below zero, which was colder. Write an inequality, right? So you're writing uh, an inequality to help you that looked like this, right? This would be an inequality. This would be an inequality. So we're gonna write one like that. So write an inequality, then answer which location was colder. So there are always two ways to write inequalities. So Think about what our numbers are. We've got three degrees below zero, so that's gonna be negative three. Whereas we have five degrees below zero, so it's gonna be negative five. So you can either write it as negative three is greater than negative five, right? Because when we picture that number line, negative three is gonna be further to the right, so it's gonna be bigger than negative five. Or you can flip that whole problem around and say that negative five is less than negative three, right? Because negative five is gonna be left to the left of negative three. So it would actually be smaller. So those, you can pick one of those inequalities. If you wanna write both, that's fine, but pick one. So then when we answer this, which day was, or I'm sorry, which city uh, was colder, it's going to be normal. Because normal represented five degrees below zero, which was colder. Okay. If you need to go back and take a look, otherwise you can uh, feel free to do that. Otherwise you can go on to your level two formative assessment, which you can grab. Don't forget a privacy folder and clear off your desk. Tell people around you that you're taking an assessment. You can do it. I know you can.